Hi, David from Elf Hosted here. This is going to be a guide about how to configure Comet for Jacket or Prowler as an indexer. We have another guide about how to get started with Comet, um, and you can do so without any indexes because we just use DMM publicly shared hashes. But let's be a bit more specific. You might want to target, you might want to search for content that is not found on DMM. You want to add your own indexes. It all starts on your Elf hosted dashboard. This is a tenant who has Comet, Prowler, and Jacket. You'll only use one of the two in combination with Comet. You can't use them both. Let's start with Jacket. Um, we'll load them up, and all we need from Jacket is your indexes and your API key. An API key is generated, that's really bright, the first time you um, open Jacket, and thereafter it stays the same. I'll keep away from the light. And let's add some indexes. Let's add whiteness. And we will add. Most of the time, the name of the indexer, according to Jacket, is the same as its full name. Let's see if we can find something that's just a bit more complicated. Uh, yeah, so let's pick something just for example's sake that has a space in the name. Right, we have three indexes. The easiest way to know exactly what to call our indexes from Comet's perspective is to do a search. If we go down to, where is it then? Search? Oh yeah, just pick any indexer. Do a query. Change to select all indexes and search. And look at your URL. And here we have the three indexes named per Jacket's scheme. So we have an API key, we have indexes. Back to the dashboard. Uh, we need to open up the docs. And we need to open up Kubernetes dashboard, which is under tools. This is going to be bright again, watch out. Right, done, done. Uh, right, so dashboard is your view of your Kubernetes resources that make your apps go. Specifically, we want to make a config map. We keep our environment variables that users can change in config maps. And we did open the docs, didn't we? Yes, we did. There they are. So on the elfhosted.com page, let's go and look at Comet. And scrolling down to environment variables, let's go to Jacket. We're going to grab this YAML content here, and we're going to paste it into Kubernetes dashboard. So it's in my clipboard. I go to dashboard, I go to this plus sign, and I paste it. Dashboard knows what it's going to be because it's been told. It's a config map. Now we're going to adjust our API key and our indexes. Back to Jacket. We have our indexes. Let's copy those. And we'll paste them. Yeah, now notice the syntax. It's very specific. We need to have index and name in quotes and multiples separated by commas, like that. And then we need the API key. And we'll copy him. The, these two values at the same will always, yeah, these two values at the top will always be the same because um, that's what we name our pods and go. Ah, syntax error. Look at that. I messed it up. It's easy to mess up, which is why we do this in dashboard instead of in Elfbot because Elfbot is a bit more primitive. Done. And if we look at pods. There is Comet happily running. Normally when you change a config map, like with Elfbot, the pod will automatically restart. But in this case, because the config map didn't exist before, we have to restart it. So click on your three dots and click on delete. This will delete the old pod and Kubernetes will faithfully recreate a new pod with the new config maps. We know it's worked once we can load the Comet dashboard and see our indexes available in the drop down list. So that's what we had before. After a restart, we should be able to refresh that and see the two, three indexes that we've already added. And there we go, we're back. So we have our indexes and we'll use Comet as normal. 
Let's test though to make sure that it really is getting results. So we'll need to reconfigure it again. I'll grab my API token. All indexes are selected by default, so that's fine. Copy that link. I'm just using the web interface, but you can just click the button if you have normal Streamio clients. Paste it in. Install. And let's do a search. Um, Is this the one? 1979, look at that. This takes longer using Comet with indexes than using DMM. Oh, but we found a result, look at that. Uh, and if you go to Jacket and you look at your logs, there we see Jacket confirms that we did a search and we have found two releases. Maybe they, they were the same release, or maybe one of them got removed by our filters. But that's it. We've connected Comet to Jacket. Uh, using this, this process, you can now add as many indexes as you need. You should also be aware that you can look at the logs by clicking on your pod and going to this Logs button. And there you can see what Comet is up to in the background. Ah, so yes, there were two results, but only one of them was cached on Real Debrid, which is why we only got one result in Streamio. Now, if you wanted to change this and add another indexer, you can't go back to the create new interface again, because the config map already exists. You need to go to config maps, find the config map here, edit it, and make your changes. Then update, and the pod will restart, and you'll be away. Let's touch on how to do this now with Prowlr. Very similar. The variables are just slightly different. I'm going to copy them. Paste them in. This is a good way to show you how to edit a config map. That's a spelling error. That should say Prowlr key. Anyway, let's go to Prowlr. I've set up some indexes and some of these are default. We want to go to settings, general, and grab this API key from there. Paste him into the config map. And then in terms of how we reference the indexes in Prolar, we do it completely by name. So copy the name of the indexer and put that into the config map as an indexer. Spaces, commas, slashes don't matter, provided it's within these quotes. And let's also do ECTD in that one. And update. If you go back and look at your pod, You'll see this time it has terminated itself. The new pod will start and then we'll be connected to Prowler. So the pod has restarted. Back to Comet and we should see that our indexes have changed. Yes. We have to reinstall the add-on for this bit because the way that the add-on cache works is it remembers the name of our indexes. So back to Streamio and add-ons. Moving the old one, then I'm back to my Comet install, I need my key again. And copy my link and do the dance and pasty paste. Done. So, same deal. Uh, and we can actually watch the logs this time because it's fun. So if we open up the pod logs. Right, we're ready. This is a fresh install, so there's no logs yet. So same deal. It takes a while because Comet is talking to Prowlar, which in turn is talking to all the indexes. 
consolidating results. We should see the query happening here. Actually, we don't. There's no query. Oh, because it's cached. Sorry, we'll pick the next episode. Now we should see it. We still don't. Hmm, maybe it's success. Uh, let's see. If we look at Paolo and we look at our history. Oh yes, that's worked. Okay, fine. Perhaps we'll only see the message when we play the stream. But confirming by looking at the Prada logs that we're definitely seeing results. Done. This is how you do it. Uh, the important thing to take note of is watching your logs in Kubernetes dashboard and editing your config map again in Kubernetes dashboard. Thank you. Uh, don't be a stranger. Have fun.